During his annual presidential news conference, Russian President Vladimir Putin dismissed speculation he could be deposed in a coup because he said he had broad public support and that the Kremlin was properly fortified. Chillingly, he added that the ouster of Ukraine's former president Yanukovych was only possible because of his reluctance to use force. In a rambling speech, he blamed the West, NATO and the United States for Russia's current predicament. He defended Russia's collapsing currency, the ruble, insisting it would rebound, but warned the current economic storm could last two years. Putin did not answer a BBC journalist's question about whether he would pull back from a, quote, new Cold War. And he looked uneasy when Ukrainian journalists asked about the presence of Russian troops in Ukraine. He unconvincingly denied the charge and repeated the claim that the soldiers were merely, quote, volunteers. Putin also insisted he would carry on helping the militants in East Ukraine, who want to join up the region with Russia and pledge to send another, quote, aid convoy there. Russian journalist Ksenia Sobchak asked about why Russia's media was producing anti-Ukrainian propaganda, but Putin flatly denied the charge.